The aftermath of what happened is clear. What has remained a mystery, though, until now is why that demonstrator, Lee Keltner, ever confronted the security guard named Matthew Doloff. That guard was provided by a security firm to Nine News to accompany one of our journalists seen there in the blue shirt. Look closer at him. The Nine News producer has an iPhone in his hand and captured what caused the confrontation. This is his video here, clearly one of several people with the camera out, recording that other argument that Lee Keltner was involved in from a different angle. Don't touch me, old man. Don't touch me, old man. Don't cry. Don't touch me, man. Knock it off. That's how fast it happened. Nine seconds. The producer's clip did not capture the shooting. Watch his video again here, just before Lee Keltner walks away from that first dispute. Don't touch me, old man. Don't touch me, old man. Don't touch me, man. Don't touch me, man. Don't touch me, man. What happens next is captured by Denver Post photographer Helen Richardson. Keltner takes a swing at the security guard. In another rapid-fire image of hers, Keltner backs away and sprays pepper spray toward the security guard. That's when Matthew Doloff draws his weapon and pulls the trigger once, killing Keltner. It's also when Brian Loma started running up. We've shown you his video for several days now. You can see Helen Richardson from the Denver Post there in that orange vest that says press. 12 seconds later, as uniformed police close in with rifles drawn, the Nine News journalist starts recording again on his iPhone. It's his second and last clip before police confiscated the phone from him. He was very surprised when he saw the security guard pull out a gun. He did know that the security guard had um, mace, but never knew until the moment the security guard pulled it out that he had a gun on him. Don't touch me, old man. Don't touch me, old man. Don't cry. The journalist's video is the missing link, providing a clearer picture of what happened, what was said, how a burst of anger exploded into deadly violence. And nine seconds is all it took. Jason Whiteley, 9 News.